I'm Eddie with Hilltop Camper and RV, and we're going to look at a 2022 Jayco Seneca 37 TS. A few things I want to show you right off the bat here. Like you may have seen in other Jayco motorhomes, the front cap is a one-piece front cap. There's absolutely no seams in this front cap. If you've ever owned an RV in the previous years, you've known that uh, Class C's are notorious for leaking up front. Jayco took that all out with doing a one-piece front cap. You'll see that you've got full body paint throughout this whole coach here. There's no decals whatsoever. This is all paint. You've got large compartment doors here, storage doors. You will have 22 and a half inch uh, wheels and rims. So very stable as you drive down the road. Coming around the back here, you'll have a one piece molded rear cap. So aesthetically looks very nice. And again, no seams there. You've got a 12,000 pound rated hitch with your standard seven way wiring there. You've got a rooftop ladder, which previous years, some had them, some didn't. Now it's a standard on the 2022s. So therefore you can get to the roof to do any kind of maintenance there. Speaking of the roof, it is gonna be a one piece fiberglass roof. So it's very stable. Uh, also helps for a sound going down the road and just very stable. Coming around the other side here, you're gonna see a water heater here. This is gonna be a tankless propane water heater. This is thing that's things that have changed over the last few years is it's got a single fill 100 gallon tank uh, fuel tank. As we move up here and then a couple things have changed over the previous years too is they went to the S2 RV chassis, which is gonna give you more horsepower. This is gonna be a Cummins diesel engine. That's 360 horsepower. Let's head on inside. As we enter the coach here, you're gonna see that we've got a cab over bed here, rated at 750 pounds, which all Jacob Motorhomes will have. Then you also notice this has got a secondary windshield up top. This is a windshield manufacturer that puts it in, not an RV window. This will have a screen on it too, that'll close it out, just so it's completely blacked out up top here. You've got a ladder to get up to the top there. It's a very easy access there. And then you've got uh, some built-in cup holders. You've got outlets on both sides, so you can plug in any kind of electronics that you'd want there. As we move around here, what we've talked about two in other motorhomes is every seat in here is gonna have a seat belt. So at our theater seating here, we've got two seat belts. And at our love seat, we've got two seat belts as well. The theater seating here is gonna be electric recliners, where I just push a button to do that. Then it also has a USB plug built into that. Uh, in the center here, you're gonna have storage for any kind of remotes, uh, crossword puzzles, anything like that. Here, we're gonna have a love seat there that will turn into a jackknife sofa. There again, you will have two seat belts there. And then behind that, you will have a TV that will pop up behind you there. Here we've got our dinette that'll seat four typically. You've got four seat belts here for travel. This table will drop down into a bed as well. Underneath there, there's absolutely no pedestals to it. It is just simply attached to the wall here. will drop down into place and then the cushions will make that up to be the bed. Here we've got kind of our wraparound kitchen here where we've got all kinds of counter space here. Uh, now they're going to an induction stovetop. So what's nice about it, very flat surface, easy to clean. Above that, you're gonna find a convection microwave. Find overhead compartments everywhere. You have drawers that are deep and they're rated at 75 pounds a piece, all on ball bearing slides. And you got some big ones here too. Here we've got one single sink. That's a deep sink with hard surface covers there to give you more counter space there. You've got Again, cabinetry everywhere. Here we're gonna have our residential refrigerator that'll run off the shore power, the generator, or off of an inverter. Some more little hidden storage here. Let's head back to the bedroom. So we've got a split bathroom here. On one side, we've got your vanity with kind of a hidden medicine cabinet here. On the other side, we're gonna find our bathroom. In the bathroom, we're gonna find a porcelain foot flush stool. We'll find a large shower 
with a built-in seat and sliding glass doors. We will find that there is air conditioning as well as heat in the bathroom. Separating the bathroom and the bedroom and living area, you have wood pocket doors that break up the different rooms. Back of the bedroom, we'll find that all Senecas will come with a king bed. We've got reading lights on top. We've got all kinds of storage here. This particular one is prepped for a combination washer and dryer. That is a factory option, or you can do it after the fact. You'll find any, any spot where you can storage. So we will also find dual closets here where you've got hanging storage. You've got drawers built in. You have larger wardrobe doors. And then even hidden behind the TV, you'll find some uh, storage as well. 2022 Senecas are gonna be equipped with ducted air conditioners. You're gonna have two of them. You're gonna have one in the living area and also one in the bedroom. They're ducted throughout the whole coach. They will also have heat pumps in each of the, the air conditioners. Here we're gonna find our main controls for the whole coach. Uh, on top here is gonna be your Firefly system that controls everything inside the coach here. Below that, you will find some actual switches to run, say your lights, your awning, and those things. And then even below that, you're gonna find the inverter that will turn the 12 volt power into 120 volt power. Here's a look at the cab of the RV. So as we talked about, this is on an S2 RV chassis, which is built by Freightliner. Uh, you will see that it's got some very comfortable seats. I point it up because it makes it comfortable for a very long trip. You've got a six speed Allison transmission in this. You've got a Sony head unit there, which will have side view cameras as well as a rear view camera integrated to that. You can also adapt your smartphone to run navigation and Bluetooth radio. You'll find a lot of other controls on the dash here. One of the big things you'll find is the four point hydraulic leveling system. That's what they call the equalizer system there. Other than that, you'll find just the other standard Freightliner dash features. I wanted to thank you for watching our video here on the 2022 Jayco Seneca 37 TS. Let us know if you have any questions.